Hi, uh, my name is Dave Casuto, and I am the director of San Francisco Computer Tutors here in San Francisco, California. In this video, we're going to talk about careers and salaries in the computer industry. So, um, just so you know, a little bit of a disclaimer that from region to region within the country, salaries are going to vary. So, places like New York or San Francisco, more metropolitan areas, salaries are going to be a little bit higher. So, adjust the information I'm giving you based on the area that you live. So some of the places that, excuse me, some of the um, industries that you can be in in terms of uh, with computers is you can be a graphic designer, you can be a web developer, um, a web designer, you can be a system administrator, you can be a network administrator, across the board. So let's go ahead and start with um, the starting salary for a web developer if you're an employee can be anywhere from fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year. If you're working as an independent contractor, it could be anywhere from thirty to maybe even fifty dollars an hour. Now just remember that when you're working as a freelance for any of these positions, you are paying your own taxes, you're, you're providing your own benefits, and things like that. So at the end of the year, you are paying those taxes back, whereas when you're an employee, um, your employer will pay for those taxes. Um, now the network administrator position, that's something that is expected to grow 50% over the next 10 years because everybody, everybody is part of a network. Okay, You have the internet, you have networks in terms of corporations linking their offices with each other. So a network administration position is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. And those salaries are slightly higher than web um, positions starting off. They require a little more skill um, and that's about $70,000 a year Okay, starting off. <clears throat> You've also got hardware designers. Okay, Hardware designers can make, I mean with, with enough skill you can make easily over $100,000 as a hardware engineer. Um, when you're working in software um, at the higher end of things, also about eighty to one hundred thousand dollars a year. Start starting off slightly a little bit lower, but when you have again a master's degree in computer science, um, you'll find that your salary will will go up higher and higher. <clears throat> so some other positions, um, you've got database administrators. Um, that's sort of mid range, probably about seventy to seventy five thousand dollars a year. And again, a master's degree helps in that. Um, and then we're also looking at graphic designers. Okay, graphic designers, there's a lot of variation there. And here in San Francisco, there are so many graphic designers. So, of course, when there's so many, the employer pretty much you know, has, has the advantage. So when they have that advantage, sometimes the cost will go down a little bit because there's so much of a, a larger pool of applicants. So it could be anywhere from you know, 30 to 35 starting to maybe even 50 or 55 starting. But when you're really, really good and you've got a lot of experience and a big portfolio, then you know, it can go up to 80 to $100 an hour. So um, think about all these things. Um, get your portfolio together, get some more schooling, and get out there and network. All right. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, feel free to contact me anytime at Dave at D-E-Y-E-C. That's D E Y. -E ec.com and you can check me out on the web also at deyec.com. Thanks and have a great day.